What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about Maxine in this video here today. So A24 put out a very exciting tweet today to let us know when we finally will be getting the long overdue first trailer for Maxine, which is expected to round out the current story with Ty West's ongoing X saga because we already know there's been teases of a fourth film potentially happening depending on the success of Maxine. So they responded to a fan on Twitter who had tweeted out a few days ago, Maxine trailer win. They quote tweeted today, again with this bombshell announcement that the very first trailer for Maxine is going to be dropping this Monday. Now, they have an interesting GIF attached to it as well. In this GIF, it looks like we see a woman walking down a dark alley. It looks like a lovely shot, honestly. And obviously, I would have to assume this would be Mia Goth back as the titular Maxine Minx. So what I can assume is happening in this sequence just to give you guys some more details. Allegedly, there's a moment in the movie where someone's testicles are going to be in great danger because they decide to mess with the wrong woman. They're going to be taught to just keep their hands to themselves. And I think that's what this sequence that we see in this GIF could be teasing. Now, where this sequence could appear in the trailer, shout out to you, Mystery. You suggested that this could appear, obviously, as an opening shot. It would be a great way to start off the trailer. I think they, honestly, are just using a GIF of a sequence that is going to appear in the trailer. If it's not in the opening of the trailer, I'm assuming we will see it some point during this said trailer that, again, will arrive on Monday. To give you guys some other things you can expect about Maxine, since there's been no news about the project whatsoever outside of just the lawsuit that Mia Goth, Ty West, and A24 have been battling against one of the crew members who was alleging some wrongdoing happening on set. They are accusing them of some wrongdoing that happened on set, allegedly. There is going to be a moment in the film. We already know we have a young actress who's going to star as Maxine. And we already know there's going to be a flashback sequence based off of that. I did want to just confirm some of the... Well, not confirm. To go over some of the rumored details that have been shared with me about that sequence. That sequence should apparently function as the very first opening sequence for the movie. The very first thing we see, Maxine as a young girl... And she's allegedly rumored to be getting recorded, who I'd assume the person recording her is bound to be her father, prepping her to take over leadership of the church, I guess, from whenever he passes on so she can carry on leading the congregation and teaching her how she does not deserve a, or she should not accept the life she doesn't deserve. You know, the line she uses in X. That's what I've heard the opening sequence of Maxine will be. It'll just dive a little bit deeper into that father-daughter relationship they had, her links to this church, and then it goes from there. I'm expecting the trailer to obviously show us Lily Collins, Kevin Bacon. Hopefully there's a reference to the events that transpired in X, which again are rumored to now be known as the Texas Pornhouse mass Massacre events. Then I'm expecting us to see Halsey, Lily Collins, uh, Bobby Cannavale, Michelle Monaghan, all the people we've been talking about so greatly and heavily on this channel as it pertains to this film and what roles they possess. Elizabeth DeBecky, I think, is also playing the director. Hopefully we see her and that connection she has with Maxine. And we get a glimpse of this Puritan movie that Max is supposed to be starring in. And I bet my bottom dollar, or my last dollar, that they are going to show us, obviously, the pentagrams that are rumored to be very integral to the ongoing proceedings of the film because of the fact that the killer is going to be marking their victims with this pentagram. Very much so like, again, what I said, seeing very Scream 3 coded since you had the f had Roman Bridger leaving behind his calling card, which ended up being pictures of Marine at the scene of the crime. And this one being in Hollywood, we're just gonna be leaving pentagrams on our victims. Granted, that's also them trying to frame the Night Stalker who is not the killer. But let me know, are you guys excited about the trailer that's arriving on Monday? Let me know why or why not. Are you excited for Maxine, which again is supposed to arrive in theaters on July 5th? Let me know all of that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.